Hey guys, Jeff here with Local Search Masters. Today I want to talk about something very important to tracking the success of your website, and that is Google Analytics. Specifically, I'm going to show you how to use the goal setting feature of Analytics to track if your website is converting visitors into buyers, subscribers, leads, or whatever else your website is designed to convert. Google Analytics takes in an unbelievable amount of data, and it can be daunting to try to sift through it but setting goals in analytics will make it much easier to find the information that will help you make decisions about your site. When you set goals for your website, the first thing to think about is what your objectives are. These are going to vary based on what type of business you have. Some common examples include an e-commerce website, in which case your goal is to sell products. If your website is intended as a lead generation tool, your goal may be for visitors to sign up for your mailing list or contact your sales team. If you sell advertising space on your site, you may track the amount of time spent on pages or the number of pages someone visits. You need to think about the specific features of your site that you want visitors to be using. You can have any number of goals as long as it's less than 20, so feel free to think up goals that aren't a main objective of your website but are still important to your business. Maybe someone visited your find a location page, which may not be a big conversion for you, but it also means someone was looking for your store and may stop by later. This would make it something that you'd want to track. Now that you have a few ideas of what you might want people to do on your website, let's go into analytics and set up goals to track them. From analytics, click admin, select the profile for your site, and then click over to the goals tab. Scrolling down, you should see four goal sets, sets one, two, three, and four, each of which can have up to five goals. These are useful if you want to organize your different goals into categories. If you're not going to have that many goals, however, you can probably just use goal set one for all of them. And you can come down here and click plus goal to create a new one. I'm not going to help you name your goal. You're going to have to tackle that one yourself, but it shouldn't be too difficult. I've been posting on our blog a lot lately and we've gotten a lot of traffic from it, but I want to know if that traffic is clicking further to other parts of our website. Specifically, I'm going to make a goal that will allow me to see if the visitors to the blog have read any pages in our About LSM se section. So I will name it About LSM. There are four types of goals that you can set. I'm going to use URL destination, and I often find that that is the most powerful one. Although if you're interested in tracking the visit duration or pages per visit, you can try those ones out. They're pretty easy to use. What you're going to want to type into this goal URL box depends on what type of match you're going to use, which depends on what you're trying to measure. Exact match, you can type a URL into here and the goal will only be triggered when that exact URL is typed into the search bar or that page is arrived on and only that page. Head match, you can type the beginning of a URL and any page after that will trigger the goal. For instance, if I typed google.com slash analytics up here, then the site that I'm on would have triggered the goal because it does begin with that phrase. Regular expression match, I could type say slash analytics and anything any URL with this in it would trigger the goal. So I'm going to type about LSM because I want to know if any website that is visited is in our about LSM section. If you know the monetary value of a person triggering this goal, you can put it into the goal value. It's optional and sometimes it requires you to have a lot of data about your site. For instance, if you knew that every person that signed up for your mailing list had a 1% chance of buying your product and your product cost $100, then you could assume that for every person who signs up for your mailing list, you just made about a dollar. Um, again, this is optional and you can skip over it if you don't know. The last thing is the goal funnel. And this is how I'm going to define that I only want this goal to trigger if they get to this page after being at our blog. So for step one, 
I'm going to insert blog, which is actually category slash blog for our website. And I'll name it blog. And this is a required step. And what this means is if anyone goes through this step and then arrives at our About LSM page, the goal will be triggered. And that way I can ensure that it only records how many people came from our blog and clicked on our About LSM page, which is the goal of what I'm setting up right now. So I can save. And as you can see, I have a new goal called About LSM right here. All right, so now that we've made a goal, let's see what we can do with it. If you go up here to standard reporting, you can look through all of these categories and then narrow them down based on goal completion. So right now, let's see. We'll go to all traffic. So these are the top 10 places that our website has gotten traffic from in the last month. Uh, Google organic search, we've done some SEO and we're highly ranked, so that's number one. Reddit, LinkedIn, Facebook, these are all places that we've posted our blog links. And now if we go up here and click Goal Set 1, we can see the percentage of people that have come from each of these sources that have completed goals. Now these are at 0% right now, and that's because Google Analytics does not retroactively track goals, meaning when you create a goal, it only then begins to consider when people complete it. It can't tell you when in the past people completed it if you've just created the goal. So um, right now these are all at zero, but this data will become very valuable as you continue to set new goals and gather data. Now it's not just different traffic sources that you can analyze here. You could also go up to audience and go to location, say, click city, and then click goal set one and now you can tell which cities or locations are more likely to complete goals for you. I could go through all of these categories on the left here and show you all of the different things that you can analyze through goals but uh, I'll let you experiment a little bit with it. But now that you've set up a goal your Google Analytics is going to start tracking some, some seriously valuable data for you guys and I hope it'll help you to make some important decisions about your business that can improve your website and your uh, business as a whole. So thanks for being here and listening, and keep your eyes peeled for some more tutorial videos from local search masters. Thanks.